You really should be in hospital, Mrs. Sugden. There's an ambulance waiting. Not going anywhere. Not until I know Victoria's safe. Maybe you can talk some sense into her. She's in a lot of pain. I'm pretty sure she's got a tip and fib fracture. Our little girl's still on that bus. You have to understand what she's going through. I've given her morphine, but that's all I can do here. The sooner she gets to a doctor, the sooner it can be dealt with properly. Sarah. No. I'm not going anywhere till I know Victoria's safe. I, I can't hold the ambulance. There's other people need it. Here's an ambulance. Master seat up, boss. Right, there you go. Can you see where it's stuck? I can't see that. Yeah, it's up top. You're right, Danny. Yeah, it's sound. Yeah, it's finally there. Hold it a bit. You manage. Quiet! 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 Qui
Still don't know why. Marriage was nearly over. She'd have been better off without me. She still nursed me through it. Till I was fit enough to go off with someone else. So I guess all you say about me is true. Well, that's between you and your conscience. Surprise you think I've got one, Jack. No. I will be here till they bring Cathy out safe. However long it takes. Look, Chris. I'm sorry. Maybe I said a few things I shouldn't. Forget it, Jack. We've not always got on. And I guess this will make no difference. But just for tonight, we both know what we're here for. Yeah. And that's something that neither of us are very good at. On the farm, I'm up at first light, and I keep going till everything that needs to be done is sorted. And you've never been one to let anything stand in your way. Out here, all we can do is wait.